first of all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's been a lot of work, a lot of work. I felt it was very important that this celebration um, be held on the same day as Juneteenth. And when I worked at the Lincoln Museum in Fort Wayne, we celebrated it every year, and almost every state recognizes this holiday. Um, it is the day in 1865 when the Union forces under General Granger came to Galveston, Texas to enforce the last um, vestige of Confederates who were still not recognizing the end of slavery. So June 19th is the official end of the uh, of slavery in the United States. So I felt we felt that that was very important to uh, coordinate that with the efforts of of Reverend King. And it's now become um, a day to remember freedom for all people and civil rights throughout the world. Shannon and I are descendants from slaves, from some of those early families that came to Buxton. And so Reverend King is certainly a hero to us. One of Reverend King's other slaves puts an advertisement in the newspaper and Fanny Fraser and she leaves one of those heartbreaking details that we have to remember. Fanny Fraser wishes to ascertain the whereabouts of her six children who were owned by a family of the name of Bailey who lived at Clarksville, Virginia. Some years ago the children assumed the name of their owners and are now known by the following names. Nelson Bailey, Hannah Bailey, Maria Bailey, Charlotte Bailey, Nora Bailey, and Amy Bailey. Enter in any information respecting them will be thankfully received by Fanny Frazier, Buxton, Canada West, The Christian Recorder, December 16, 1865.